You find her in one piece, along with an unfamiliar little face. Is this my pet now? Isn't he the best? Can we keep him? Please keep him. I need to pat this thing. You sense a depth of experience in this creature. At least, judging by drive him standards. In fact, you feel a connection to him. If you concentrate, perhaps you can derive some meaning from his calls and screeches. Drive him seems both excited and frustrated by something. Hello. You sense some pattern in the drive in screeches. He seems welcoming of this. Hello. The drive him seems to have history with your black wagon. You're beginning to understand him. <laughs> I just learned a new language. I'm extremely good at this. The drive him recognizes you as a new reader of the Nightwings. He's pleased to meet you, and I can't keep interacting with that. The drive-in seems satisfied at having gotten through to you, and you explain to your companions what little you have learned of him so far. Things I want a plushie of, this character, this is obvious plushie bait, and I'm okay with that. No one argues against letting the creature come along. Inside the wagon, the other drive-in stare at him with something like reverence. Is he the god of the drive imps or something? The drive imp joined you. He seems to know his way around. Welcome aboard, my buddy. Can I talk to you? I can talk to you. You can see the little imp has made himself at home. He rushes right up to you. Oh my god, look at that face. Your new imp companion seems very pleased to be in the wagon. He indicates he was able to find you thanks to the swarm of howlers. What? He has no love of howlers, and they know not to mess with him either. Th the ferocious creature, yes. He plans to set up a nest that should ward off any further trouble from them. That seems advantageous. He looks forward to the road ahead with everyone, and believes it shall be worth it. He seems to be saying he is happy to be back where he belongs, and he urges you to keep going. Interesting. Do you know where the minstrel is? He bounds off towards his brethren settled in the wagon's rafters. Well, I'm glad I've been patting these people. It should hopefully endear him to me. Gotta pat all the imps. I'm not gonna do this every time, I promise. Can't do anything there. Okay. Continue the journey. I love the color splashes for emotions. I like them too, but they also alarm me, like, a lot. Imp friend wants to go to Licksand. There's no other path, so we'll go to Licksand. Every time the wagon stops, I'm- oh god, it's broken. Hedwin orders- blah, 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 blah. let me try that again. Hedwin orders the wagon to a halt somewhere in the barren waste of Jomwear Valley. Timbaricatus. There's someone on the road. Be careful, everyone. The figure watching the black wagon from afar approaches, arms spread wide, although a hat and cloak conceal the figure's features. Minstrel? That didn't seem like a happy noise. Then the imp rushes out to whomever it is. The imp is very riled up at the sight of whoever is approaching, though in an almost joyous way? Okay. Probably okay then. It is the minstrel! You, you need some colour, my friend. Y you're looking a bit wan. Tizo, it is good to see you. And you found the others even faster than expected. 
Okay, so he has a name now. The imp called Tizo appears very pleased. The lone minstrel turns toward the rest of you. Bon dia, man. Hello. We have not met, but I know who you are, or who you must be. I returned as promptly as I could. Have you walked with the scribes themselves? Because I think maybe you have. Hello indeed. You had us worried there when you took off. Not man, he's got an aesthetic. I mean, I can't argue that he has an aesthetic. I just don't think it's working all that well for him. I should knock him back into his slumber. I did not aim to cause you such concern. As soon as I awakened, I had to notify my client that the Nightwings have returned. Your client? I, my client, Sandalwood. He is your point of contact as I understand. You did not find his wagon by mistake. So, what now? You continue down the path. That is why I am here. When we meet my client, he shall explain. Now you have a job to do. I assure you that I shall not interfere. Good, I don't have to choose if I want you on the team or not. But I mean to accompany you. Would that be alright? I mean, you've been doing exactly that so far. You're a quiet travelling companion. It's, it's not too bad. Edwin and the others exchange looks. Welcome back, minstrel. You got a name? I am sometimes called Tariq. It is a pleasure to meet you, Nightwings. The lone minstrel returns to the Black Wagon with your fellow exiles. Oh man, oh man, oh man, I can't wait until the next game. You're worrying me so much! He appears to be a travelling musician, yet seems to be connected to the, to the rides. The lone minstrel rejoined the group. Continue the journey. I just now realise that it's a giant skeleton. It's a little terrifying. The can of Haub is a foreboding sight. It is here that the next ride is soon to commence. Ligaratus. Reader, if you have a moment once we are settled on these grounds, I wish to speak with you in the wagon, at your leisure. Oh, and the slog market's here. And we've got a new page. Okay, I'll do the wagon stuff first, then go to the slug market. Oh! White loot. The lone minstrel Tariq's musical instrument, with which he chronicles great deeds through songs. You see them when you look in the stars too. The lone minstrel seems to have situated himself in the wagon. He's very still, not unlike when he was sleeping. You can change the music of the wagon? Oh, nice! Reader, I shall keep this brief, as you shortly have a rite you must conduct. You have read something of the Book of Rites, which means that you may know something of my nature. Gasp! On the contrary, you know not what he means, and he soon senses this. Forgive me, for I spoke too soon. Suffice it, I have served the Nightwings for some time. Conduct the rites with glory, and you shall achieve what you seek. Man, was he asleep for two weeks? How did he pee? I was thinking about the food question, and now I'm just... This guy's not human. He's one of the scribes. The lone minstrel nods farewell to you and steps away. Okay, let's get the music. The lone minstrel and his white lute chronicle the journey of the Nightwings through song. Using it, you may hear glimpses of your past experiences across the downside. But yeah, he's chronicling the scribes. I'm onto you, game. Which piece of music do you wish to hear? Hmm. 
Hand folds to the downside. I can't remember any of these places. Did I like this one? I feel like I like this one. Oh, I got an achievement for that. Okay, Book of Rights. The Rope Caller. In the words of Gol Golathanian, the Master General. I knew it was a fool's errand, but my liege, he would not listen. He instead insisted to pursue a certain treasure, a celestial orb, freshly fallen from the heavens in the reaches of the downside. He would be a living legend if only he could grasp it, whispered in his ear that Kylma rope caller, his elder and most trusted aide. Never trust the elder and most trusted aide! Would that I slew that man myself. His was a simple and yet brilliant ruse, to draw the Emperor farther still from his responsibilities and towards his greed. Thus did the Emperor begin an expedition into the Forsaken Lands. He insisted that he go himself. Hmm. Hmm. Where are you? Come back. I want to talk to you. Okay, no, I don't have anything so foraged. Do I have any money? Oh, hey guys, fancy running into you this side of the sand. So, what can I do you for? Yeah. Ugh, Ron. How'd you make it all this way ahead of us? We did have some pauses in our journey, Rookie. The tower polyflesh. Oh, come on now, Mr. Greentail. Can't just give up all my business secrets, am I right? What I can do, though, seeing as you've been such a good customer and all, is provide for you a sample of a little something something you might like. Here, check this out. Seeing as you bought that Mooncrest thinger from me last time, why I'm just thinking you could use this, and I got more if you want. A pinch of stardust? Thanks. I'm sure that has a use. Raises the rank of certain talismans. Okay, so I get to level up my moon thing. Yeah. Interact with Ron to quiet him down? I'm, I'm okay. <laughs> After banishing an adversary, Vera gains plus one <laughs> money, up to ten money per right. Okay, that seems useful, and I can afford it. <laughs> I'm carrying the ore. I still can't afford that. Bonus damage is also nice. Hmm. I feel like this will pay for itself over time. Oh, and I can buy more of these? Okay, I'm gonna buy this. Go to the roster. Okay, so who doesn't have a thing? You know what? You get to be the money bearer. Um, Mooncrest. Being banished by an adversary. Are you often banished by an adversary though? Mostly I banish you. Stardust all the time, Stardust is cheap, buy the Stardust. I'll go back, don't worry. I just want to manage my inventory. Okay, so actually, you come back here. You. Can I like, just do this? I can. Oh, come on. Do that. You. Come over here. And. Since you tend to be like the mid game, let's do this. Transistor soundtrack is so good. Everything Super Giant touches is so good. Thank you. Oh, I know you're gonna like that stuff, guys. It's pretty. Oh, know what I mean? 
And if you want some more now, I know just the individual and his dad who can get it. Catch my meaning? Yeah. Just stop on by some other time. Great taste. Um... I do really want to give this to Rookie though. So I'm gonna. It's better to have too many talismans than too little talismans, right? Okay, so can I just like swap? I can. And then I'm gonna do this. And then I guess I'll put that. Janariel already has one. Okay, you just carry this for now. The transistor soundtrack is just, like pull out my heart and stomp on it, why don't you? It's true. I mean, Jadaria, like 10 plus speed makes it bonkers in combat. It's true. So we gave the contract to Jody because she can trivially kill 10 opponents per fight. Like, walk over them for a couple mins. Um. I'm. I'm happy with the speed, though. I think I'm gonna leave it there for now. And probably take the OG team into the next battle, if I can. That's how you get a repeat customer there, Dad. You give them a deal. I think I've done everything. Uh, I expect to not do so well on this one. You and your fellow exiles gather around the sacred site known as the Cairn of Haub, anticipating the hour that the rites are to commence again. Anyway, time for me to start screaming again? Oh my gosh, do we have to take the bird into combat? Bird. Imp. You know what I mean. All is quiet for a time, and then... <laughs> OH MY GOD! OH MY GOD! LOOK AT THIS PUNK DOG! LISTEN TO HIS MUSIC! THIS DOG IS SO COOL! I'm not worthy to be in the presence of this dog! From out of nowhere charges in a gangly cur. He stops short and gives you a mighty sneer. And that's Barker Ashpaws. A real piece of work. Just don't make eye contact. Oh well, would you look at this lot? Even got one of our own. Consorting with the two leggers. You're a disgrace then, mate, you realize? Uh, good to see you, Barker. You're looking well. Didn't know you knew about the rights. He's a troublemaking cur who thrills in the defeat of the triumvirates who stand against him. I'm so here for this dog! Oi, I know about a lot of things, my friend. For instance, I know you're going to be very, very sad after we wipe the floor with you here. Don't know whose back you scratched to earn yourself a spot on the high and mighty night wings there. I'm going to make sure all of you regret it. Because why not? Sounds good. Sounds good. The cur Barker laughs away as his pack stumbles after him. You hear them howling and cackling as the stars above begin to glow. Oh jeez. I am going to have to think quickly on my feet and I am not the best at that. Fading with eggs or sprinting costs stamina which regenerates. Gotcha. Thanks for the tip. Just got so good! You shall find the downside grows less pleasant from this point. But first, there's a tradition to uphold. Look at all of the floating rubble! This, this is the most metal arena the ever! Even now they hunger to defeat you. The dissidents! Perhaps not simply to regain their freedom. 
but to deny you yours. That's so punk! <laughs> As the stars shine down upon you, the pack of curs you stand against this night continue hooting and howling. Oi, come on you lot, let's boil some blood! Then, Brookie pulls you aside. Um, look, jump. I don't know how to say this, but I can't go against those guys. Just trust me on this one, okay? You sense he means it. You make a mental note to ask about his history with Barker whenever time permits. It's alright, Rookie. We can take care of them. Begging your pardon, but if you need another to stand at your side this night, I have someone here whom I would recommend. Do not be coy with us, minstrel. Don the robes if you intend to stand with us. It would be like the opposite of coy to recommend yourself, I feel. Thank you. Oh, I did not mean myself. The rights are not for me. I was instead referring to this little one. Okay, so we get the bird. <gasps> Look at the mask! Oh my gosh, it reminds me a lot of Hollow Knight, actually. A creature wearing tiny raiments appears at the lone minstrel's side. Where did they even get these things? Who is tailoring these things in the middle of the downlands? Tizo seems to be volunteering to take on your adversaries, the dissidents. Kirama. Absurd. The imp knows the rights? Wait till you see what it can do? He knows a great deal. So long as the Nightwings stand together, he shall be at their side. Though you need not take my word for it. Tizo. Our adversaries seem to be preoccupied. Perhaps you might quickly show our comrades what you can do. The little imp peers at you. You sense his connection to the rites as he awaits your guidance. Okay. He so seems excited to demonstrate some of his favorite tricks. Rita. Influencing Tizo may take some getting used to. He's inviting you to try. The wagon is just an endless pile of clothes. Another well, X to your flutter into a stamina depleted. Look at the puffball! No, no it cannot be. Then Old Archie to zip. Oh, he hops. That that is also adorable. Oh my God! Seriously. I like that! And he has a short absence. Doesn't seem correlated to how long you hold it though. Cool. Okay. I'll give it a go. Oh my gosh, really? Well done as ever, Tizo. Tizo is happy to lend his support during the rites if you could use his help. Well then, Rita. Who shall conduct the rites in the name of the Nightwings? Now we shall get started. Okay. So I think I want Jody on defense. Just because there are a lot of quick enemies and I want the biggest circle possible. Joe and I want Tizo because he was just unlocked, basically. She can stand in the middle and squish puppies. Tizo. I didn't actually enjoy playing as Faye all that much. Obviously not going to do that, so head when it is. It is done. Tizo is ready to prove himself against the dissidents. Don't forget you can move talismans. Yeah. 
I'm just I'm just going to play though. Oh my gosh, look at him in his mask! Time's up, you swell. Come on, boys, let's get him. Okay. Commence. Okay. Come on. Go, go, go. Get in there! Oh, should have jumped, should have jumped. Okay. Stay on defense. Stay on defense. So fiercely fought. Um, hop this way. Oh no, there are so many of them. I need... Jump! Ah! Oh. No, I don't want... No! No! Why is the platform moving? I don't want Jody to have the ball. Pass, pass it. Thank you. I would like to move Jody back on defense, but I can't. Jump, jump. Oh, so close. Um, kill that guy. Swap to Jody. Uh, no. I wanted to flutter. Actually, it is not what I intended. Good. Okay. Kill. Am I down to one person? I am. That's fine. I don't mind waiting. Stand not in glory's path. Okay. Stand not in glory's path? That's fine. So I'm guessing there's like an area effect to... Now where's the orb? Jump! Just get in there! Thank you. Other things moving the board. All three now, Ash. It's it's cool. I'm getting there. Don't worry about it. Okay. Stop. Yep, I am definitely pushing that thing. Okay. Slam dunk. So I should have headwind back now. Get possession. Get possession. Oh. Shield. Oh shit, I should not have let all of them come back. Ah, uh, out of stamina. Yep, that's cool. You play your game. The orb is loose. Is it? That's news to me. Did they banish Jody? Oh, I want my aura back! I don't know how to get around these guys. Go! Resplendent! Resplendent! I feel pretty good about that. Okay. Don't do it! Dangerously close. Dangerously close, huh? Stop killing my defense! Get in there! Good stuff! I'm actually really getting into this! No, Baka, don't get tougher! I'm already having such a hard time! Alright, you lot, that does it! No more fussing around, right? My boys and me, we're proper angry now. What? Oh boy. Careful now. <clears throat> Your adversary That's fine. Go! Jump! Beauteous. Beauteous. I'm enjoying all of the compliments from Your the announcer. Stop Goodbye, attacking my defense! Jodariel. It's not actually helping you! Ah! That's fine. That's fine. Oh shit, it's not fine. Nobody's there! Jadario! Don't forget to auto cast with Jody. Um. Ah, I still haven't gotten all the buttons down in my muscle memory. Oh shit. Nope. Gotta dodge. Okay, I've got somebody back at defense. That's good. Get in there! And it is done. Okay, we did it. The night wings prevail yet again. Okay. I don't think they scored one when I, I... Oh, you're feeling nice towards me now. The but, night um... is ended. 